This video will show you how to set up the PreSonus Audiobox i1 on Windows 10. So the first thing that you want to do is download the software and the drivers. The installer is called Universal Control and it's available on the PreSonus website in the software download sections for the Audiobox i1. Select the correct operating system version and then click download now. Once it's finished downloading, you can then click Open File and run the installer. Once you click through the terms and conditions, you then want to click Next and then you want to deselect all of the options except for the Audiobox USB driver. So this installer installs drivers for the whole range of PreSonus hardware. We only want the Audiobox USB hardware. So you can click Install. And then once it's complete, go finish. We can now check the universal control software. There will be a shortcut on your desktop and you can open that and it will tell you the sample rate if the clock is set to internal and what the hardware buffer setting is. So from here, we can launch Pro Tools. We want to create a new session. In this case, I'll just call it Test PreSonus Interface. And it's going to be 48K 24-bit interleaved, which is our standard resolution and file format. Go Create. And then we want to go and set the playback engine. So we can confirm here that it's set to the Audiobox ASIO driver. If it's not, you can set it to that and then also you can set the hardware buffer size there as well. You can also check the I.O. settings and you will see here this is a two in two output interface. And so on the input tab we see two ins, on the output tab we see two outs. And then on the buses tab we see our usual default buses and a set of outputs. So we can create a new audio track and we will call that test PreSonus mic. We have mic plugged into the interface right now. We can set the input to input 1 and the output we can set to output left and right which is the default. And then we want to also make sure we turn on low latency monitoring in Pro Tools and engage the direct button on the interface. There is a separate video available on this to explain how this works. We then want to record enable the track and we will do a test recording. We are aiming for peaks between 0 and minus 6 dBFS. We do not want to see any clip lights because if we see red clip lights we will be running into distortion. We want to make sure our highest peaks are above minus 6 so that we are recording with sufficient level. So when that's finished, we click stop, return to zero, and play it back, and have a listen to how it sounds. Uh, and the audio should sound clear and direct, particularly if you have the mic in the right position. So that's how you set up the PreSonus Audio Box i1 for Pro Tools.